Hello everyone. My name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are So, um, into the previous video, we have just checked out about the visualization, right? We have just checked out about the exploratory data analysis about uh, like how we can do this exploratory data analysis, how this could be done, right? These were the things which we have checked out into the last previous uh, video. So, I'll just very quickly give you a recap of what we have done up till now if you are new to this particular video. Okay. So, we are just like taking up a Titanic data set. It's not that seaborne Titanic data set which we used to like go through and do. It's not that one. Okay. It's a new Titanic data set which I have downloaded it from Kaggle. It is having two different sets into it. One is the train test, train and the test. Okay. Two CSVs I'm having. So, what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to import up the libraries and my data sets. So, importing up my libraries, uh, my NumPy, Pandas, and PyLab. These are the three libraries which I am using throughout this complete uh, visualization. For now, I'm using these three further into the visualization or maybe in the analysis way to try to add more and more. Okay. So, these are the libraries which we are using up. And um, with the help of this PLT, that is my pilot library. What I just try to do, I just try to set out the size of my matplotlib figures. Okay, that are the global size of my matplotlib figures, which we have in. Other than that, uh, I had just tried to make it in the rectangular shape as he refers to my rectangle. Okay, and uh, pick size is my 10, 5. Okay, that I have set down over here. Next is like we are having the size of my subplots, like. 10, 10, that will be my size of the subplot. So that manually, every time, whenever I am making up the subplot or anything, I do not need to uh, maybe put them, right? That's what I need. And what are the histogram bins? The bin size is equal to your 10. Okay, that is my size. So after this is all done, I would be making a variable df underscore t, which will help me to read up my CSV file. That is my train.csv. And after that, I checked out the top five rows for my CSV file with the help of my head function. So the columns which we have up into our data is passenger ID, survived, P class, name, gender, age, service, P pass, ticket, fare, cabin, embarked. So these are all of my uh, data cards which we also uh, columns which we have up into our data. After checking the top five, I even wanted to, I was curious to go ahead and check out the bottom five rows also. So yeah, that was, I just used out the tail function for checking the bottom five rows. Right after that, I'm having up a shape function that is now helping me to get the total number of rows and total number of columns in my complete data set. So with that, I just get to know that okay, in total I have 891 rows and 12 columns in my complete data set. Okay, great. Now after that, I was trying to check out the data types. Okay, what are the data types? Passenger ID we have, we have survived, P class. These are all three integers. Name and the gender, these are my characters that is my object it is my float and uh sp and patch are my integers take it as my again in strings fair is my float cabin and embarked are again my uh, strings right so these are the uh, maybe the different types of uh, columns that are referring to my different different type of the data types okay that is what we have next to that we are having like uh, maybe Anna is trying to gather some information with my data set. Maybe what are non-null values or like that things only. Right. So I have just simply used up this column uh, as my passenger ID uh, and my non-null values is 891. Okay. And the total count is non-null and the data type is integer 64. Right. So again, just like that only we have a lot of uh, D types. We have a lot of uh, as the columns, the non null, the counts for those, the data types, right? So, my columns are my passenger ID, survived, P class, name, uh, gender, age, CBSP, pass, ticket, fare, cabin, and embark, right? These are all the different types of the columns which I have into my data, right? Talking about my non null, I have uh, maybe 891 in total uh, data data which we are having up over here and from that there are maybe in the age and maybe in the cabin uh, we are having some and even yeah, in the bag also we are having a few of the data which are means non-null values means we do not have any values in that particular part right so that is what all we are having up over here right now apart from that I was even trying to get up a quick course some because some maybe help me a lot 
to figure out that uh, total number of those null values in my data set, right? So I just wrote df underscore t my variable and it's used out my dot is null function dot sum. So is null dot sum it was helping me to get a total number of the null values which I have up into my data set. Okay. Next talking about uh, my describe function. I just wanted to get some statistical information about my uh, data, about my numerical data which we have up into our data set. I just wanted to get some uh, maybe statistical information. So for that I just simply use out my describe function right that was what uh, like we have done up till this particular piece after that for the visualization i tried making up some subplots over here right so with the help of my figure function and my fixed size uh, variables we just to find out dimension 3.2 and uh, i have simply made out some bar plots over here so this was how this respective thing was looking we were trying to visualize the death versus survival count the passenger flight count the gender counts this was what all we were trying to visualize up over here right now now we will simply taking one one variable and we will try to demonstrate and we will try to check what things are over there for that particular one right so let's say i would be taking as a feature my feature would be let's say passenger class okay that is my feature which i am now taking right so the analysis which we have done over here, we were having uh, passenger class counts also. So from this, we just simply get there are three passenger class, right? First, second, and third class. Three, one, so like as this is straight up over here, right? So this is the passenger classes, first, second, and third passengers, which survive based on the passenger class, right? Now, that was what we're trying to do. Now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to generate up a cross tab of the P class and the survived P class. Okay, maybe I will. I'm trying to generate up a cross tab of the survived uh, people and the uh, P class, right? Cross tab it simply will help me to get the columns, and for that columns it will help me to get the respective values. It's kind of like that particular thing. Okay, so that is what we are trying to do up now over here, right? So just just a minute, just a minute. I'll just be back. Okay, so yeah, that. This is what a uh, feature on this passenger class will help us to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm just simply going to take up a variable and I'm going to start uh, maybe writing and working up over that particular variable only. Fine. So my let's say variable is p class underscore xt. Let's say that is what is my variable. I just put it. Okay. So now into that I'm going to use pd. That's my pandas function pd dot and um, I'm going to use a cross tab. Okay. PD dot cross tab. Cross tab is my respective like function which I'm going to use up over here. So PD from pandas and cross tab is my respective function. Fine. So now here uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take df underscore t that variable into which we have read out our data. Okay. And in that, I'm just going to set that as a variable for my p class that's my column right p class okay comma i'm going to set df underscore string okay and into that i am going to do my survived call so right fine so as i was saying as we wanted to make up a cross tab for my p class and my survived columns that is how you do and after that i'm just going to display the p class XT like this, right? I'm gonna run this out. Okay, df underscore where did I wrote train? Okay, sorry, this is df underscore t. Right, this is how my uh, cross tab uh, result will look like, right? So we are having survived 0, 1, okay, p class, first class, second class, third class, and then we are having up the values for those people, right? Uh, okay, so why do we be having two uh, respective uh, genders, male and the females? Okay, one second, let me take you to the data only. Yeah, so why see it survived or not survived? Survived or not survived? Survived or not survived? Right, one second. Yeah, so according to that, only we so this cross tab 
table has been like generated for us over here, right? Okay, now next what I'm going to do, I'm just going to normalize up the class tag to sum it to the value which is 1. Okay, I'm just going to normalize up this uh, cross tab which we have made to make it up to a sum of 1, right? So I'm just simply going to write P class underscore, let's say XT underscore percent. I'm just going to find out the percent now. Okay, just let me get down PCP. Okay, percent. So here we have P class underscore XT dot we are having this variable which is the variable div right so next we are having p class underscore xt dot sum and in the bracket we are having the value which is one okay dot as type in the bracket we are having the value which is float comma then we are having the xs which is zero fine so then this is the one thing like we are having this p class xt pct that are the variable and uh, then p class underscore xt that was a variable into which we had the uh, simply made out a cross tab uh, function so that cross tab function is being done and uh, i'm just dividing is this by sum and uh, setting it to a data type that is flow setting the xs as zero so yeah that's what all we are doing so next i'm just simply gonna write p class underscore xt underscore percent dot i'm going to make it a plot for that right plot and into the bracket i'm going to set that kind as a, a bar plot okay i'm just going to check out this tag so yeah that is a tag is equal to true okay next i'm going to set up a title over here so yeah title is survival rate let's say okay i'll just take the title onto a new line comma Title is equal to survival rate by passenger classes. Okay, that's the thing. So I'll read by passenger classes. Next is I'm just gonna set out the X and the Y labels. PLT dot X label. So for X label, we are having passenger class okay next we are having plt dot uh, y label so plt dot y label for that we are having survival rate okay that are the two things which we are having and getting down i would just simply run this okay so here we are having a, a good bar plot which now will help us to get in some good ideas here about the survival rate by the passenger classes, right? So, the, so blue color is for the survived, blue and uh, orange. We are having two over here, right? And one, two, and three are my passenger classes. So, okay. So this is like uh, the sort of a plot which is uh, maybe like getting to us as a as a respective result right so this was what we have done in for our one second for our passenger class right in the feature tab this is the respective result how uh, we are getting this so you um actually the zero and one these are my genders right so we can say that you for this particular passenger so i read the passenger classes you may gender this also had played up a role basically in determining about the survival of a passenger right so now we will be trying to map out the gender right maybe this blue and the orange is representing up my genders so for the confirmation for better more better visualizations everything we will be needing to map the now the genders over here right now that is what we will be doing up into the next video right so i hope you have got a clear idea about how to feature up a respective class as we have done up here for the featuring of our passenger class right in the same manner we'll be doing up for the featuring of the classes in the further videos right so if you enjoyed this video do share this video with your friends do share this video with the people who are moving in the data science field or who are looking for some good uh projects as well right do subscribe to this channel and see you there in the next video